ज्ञान कोशा वेदास ओम गणपति गुमे कवि कवीनापवच्रमस्तम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मणस्पदानृण्मीदन कैवल्य उपनिषत् कैवल्य उपनिषत् इज वन ऑफ द हंड्रेड एंड एट उपनिषत् it belongs to the shaiva sect which worships the god shiva and is associated with the krishna yajurveda it is presented as a sermon by the god brahma mato the vedic seer ashva layana it extols shiva and renunciation which are said to lead to kaivalya emancipation In the Muktika Canon listing, Kaivalya Upanishad occupies the twelfth place in the hundred and eight Upanishads. Oh, may he protect us both together. May he nourish us both together. May we work conjointly with great energy. May our study be vigorous and effective. May we not mutually dispute. Om, let there be peace in me. Let there be peace in my environment. Let there be peace in the forces that act on me. Then Ashvalayana approached the Lord Parmeshti Brahma and said, "Teach, O Lord, the knowledge of Brahman, the highest, always cultivated by the God, hidden and by which a wise man drives away instantly all the sins and reaches the Purusha higher than the high." and to him the grandsire said no by means of faith devotion and meditation not by work not by progeny not by wealth but by renunciation some attained immortality higher than heaven seated in the cave buddhi that shines which the self controlled attained the self controlled who being of pure minds have well ascertained the reality by the knowledge of vedanta and through sanyasa or renunciation in the sphere of brahma at the time of cosmic dissolution they all get liberated from the highest apparent immortality of the manifested universe in a secluded place sitting in an easy posture pure with a neck head and body erect living in the last of the orders of religious life having controlled all the sense saluting his own preceptor with reverence meditating within the lotus of the heart untainted pure clear and griefless who is unthinkable unmanifested of endless form the good the peaceful immortal the origin of the world without beginning middle and end the only one all pervading consciousness and bliss the formless and the wonderful meditating on the highest lord allied to uma powerful three eyed blue necked and tranquil the holy man reaches him who is the source of all the witness of all and is beyond darkness he is brahma he is shiva he is indra he is the immutable the supreme the self luminous he alone is vishnu he is prana he is time and fire he is the moon he alone is all that was and all that will be the eternal knowing him one transcends death there is no other way to freedom seeing the atman in all beings and all beings in the atman one attains the highest brahman not by any other means making the atman the lower arani and om the upper arani by the repeated friction of knowledge a wise man burns up the bond with his self thus deluded by maya or ignorance it is he who identifies himself with the body and does all sorts of things in the waking state it is he the jiva who attains satisfaction through the varied objects of enjoyment such as women food drink in the dream state that jiva feels pleasure and pain in a sphere of existence created by his own maya or ignorance 
during the state of profound sleep when everything is dissolved he is overpowered by times or non manifestation and comes to exist in his form of bliss again through his connection with the deeds done in previous birth that very jiva returns to the dream state or the waking state the being who sports in the three cities from him him has sprung up all diversity he is the substratum the bliss the indivisible consciousness in whom the three cities dissolve themselves from this spring up prana mind all the organs sky air fire water and the earth that supports all that which is the supreme brahman the soul of all the great support of the universe subtler than the subtle and eternal that is thyself and thou art that that which manifests the phenomena such as the states of wakefulness dream and profound sleep i am that brahman realizing thus one is liberated from all bonds what constitute the enjoyable the enjoy and the enjoyment in the three abodes different from them all am i the witness the pure consciousness the eternal good in me alone is everything born in me does everything rest and in me in everything dissolved i am that brahman the secondless i am minuter than the minute i am likewise the greatest of all i am the manifold universe i am the ancient one the purusha and the ruler i am the effluent one and the all good without arms and legs i am my of unthinkable power i see without eyes and i hear without ears i know all and i am different from all none can know me i am always the intelligent i alone my thought in the various vedas i am the river revealer of the vedanta or upanishads and i am also the knower of the vedas for me there is neither merit nor demerit i suffer no destruction i have no birth nor any self identity with the body and the organs for me there is neither earth nor water nor fire nor air nor ether thus realizing the parmatman who lies in the cavity of the heart who is without part and without a second the witness of all beyond both existence and non existence one attains the pure parmatman itself he who studies the shat rudriya is purified as by the right fires is purified from the sin of drinking purified from the sin of killing a brahmana from deeds and done knowingly or unawares through this he has his refuge in shiva the supreme self one who belongs to the highest order of life should repeat this always or once by means of this one attains the knowledge that destroys the ocean of samsara or repeated transmigration therefore knowing thus one attains the fruit of kaivalya or liberation verily one attains liberation oh may he protect us both together may he nourish us both together may we work conjointly with great energy may our study be vigorous and effective may we not mutually dispute om let there be peace in me let there be peace in my environment let there be peace in the forces that act on me here ends the kaivalya upanishad included in the krishna yajurveda